Hi guys, welcome back to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I'm Ken Tamplin, and today we're going to be discussing a kind of a mysterious subject, and the subject is head voice. What is head voice, and how do we develop it, and how do we turn it into something that uh, gives us practical application for singing? So we're going to walk through step by step what head voice is. Now, um, I'm not going to take the time in the video portion of this to discuss all of the technical mechanics of that. Um, I've written uh, some essays and some things that are on the website. So if you're a technical person and you want to know all of the mechanics of how it, you know, what it takes to uh, create head voice and how it's different and all that, um, there's some great technical stuff on the website, kentamplinvocalacademy.com. I suggest you go there, uh, read till your heart's content. But for this purpose here, I'm going to talk, uh, and I'm going to start out simply, and it's going to get progressively more aggressive as we go and more complicated, uh, but we're going to start simply discussing what it is, and then we're going to break into uh, how to develop it, and uh, how, again, to utilize it, and to create one long note. Hey! How we can take from our call register or our chest voice, how we can go through the Segunda Passage, our second register, um, and again, it's different for girls and guys, and we'll talk about that as we go, but how we can actually fuse it together for usable notes as we sing, not just something in a scale or, or whatever, but how we can actually break this down. So let's get started uh, and let's discuss what head voice is and what it isn't. First of all, uh, there's a lot of information floating around and again, I've even kind of been guilty of this of calling falsetto head voice and head voice falsetto. It really isn't that. I, out of laziness, I didn't want to take the time sort of to d explain all this, but um, uh, let's discuss what falsetto is and then let's discuss what head voice is and then we'll kind of get a feel for where we're going with this. And I'm going to relate it to, to uh, what I've told you guys about in volume one about bright, uh, bright timbral sound. So um, first of all, head voice. It's a really fluty sound that we get that's past the call register, past our speaking register. So speaking, call register. Now, I'm not going to go into, you know, primo uh, passaggio, is a good passaggio, you know, the different passageways of the voice. I I'm going to discuss specifically head voice, and then we'll break down how we can relate it to um, uh, fusing it together with our chest voice. Chest voice excuse me. So um, head voice, as I just did, uh, that fluty kind of sound, that's falsetto. Right? That's falsetto. It's that fluty sound. And what that is, is in the chords, there sits some false vocal folds that are outside the chord, and it's air that passes across the false vocal folds that can never close down and create enough closure to give you a nice, bright timbral sound that matches your chest voice. So, with head voice, hey! actually close the glottis down. What is the glottis? Our vocal folds or our chords. We can close it down and not allow so much air to pass through them and grow them and make them strong so that we can emulate and or recreate and or take maybe to another stage, like I've talked in my volumes, um, our chest res resonant sound into that sound and create one long, beautiful, powerful note. Right? With that said, we take our head voice, and we, we're going to learn what we learned in volume one. And what did we learn? We learned that in volume one, hello, that we want to take a really bright timbral sound because it's the bright sound that grows the voice. Not ah, that sound does not grow the. In fact, you hear kind of immediately when I did that how all of a sudden it's almost hard to speak. But the bright timbral sound that we use, and we use that to grow the voice, is the sound that actually creates resonance and gives us that big, fat, muscular sound that we're looking for. And or we can also go to a lighter sound with that voice. But you can't go from a lighter sound and get to a big sound, but you can go from a big sound to get to a lighter sound. So we're going to talk about that later. Um, right now, though, we're going to focus on head voice. So what is it and how do we develop it? Okay. So we, I want to first start you guys off, and I'm going to break this down here, and we're going to go through stages. So the next element and the next um, stage that we're going to discuss is how do we, if we have a fluty sound, how is it that we can take that fluty sound and create a nice, bright timbral sound in order to be able to start to develop head voice to use it in practical application for singing. So if you're ready, let's get started. Head voice, Ken Tampa Vocal Academy.